Welcome back to another Reaper blog video. This is what's new in Reaper 703. And this is mostly a bug fix update, but there are some interesting and useful features to take a look at. Let's do that. <laughs> And the first thing to talk about is support for VLC 3.019 and up. So this is the latest version of VLC and there was a bug with uh, if you had updated VLC and you were using VLC as your video playback decoder in Reaper for editing videos. After updating VLC, you would not be able to import videos. You would not be able to playback projects anymore. Big problem. This bug was only discovered a couple days ago and it's already fixed. So it's great that uh, Reaper updates very quickly for compatibility issues. Envelopes, improve organization of context menu. So the envelope context menu, that's when you right click on an envelope, the menu has been reorganized slightly. I did a comparison before and after here that you can see on the screen. It's not a huge difference, but I spent a lot of time on this graphic. The envelope defaults got kind of moved down uh, towards the bottom of the list. Change some of the names. There's one additional action. Recording. Add recording option to add overlapping media items in layers, replicating version 6 recording option, add media items. So we're going to find this in the options menu. New recording that overlaps existing media items, add media items in layers. And from what I've seen from users, this isn't a function that was widely used, but there were some users that relied on this particular function for their workflow. And it wasn't exactly something that they could replicate using the fixed item lanes or, or other takes functions for compatibility reasons, for being able to open up old projects, or if you want to just continue using this function, that's there. Add media items in layers. In the last couple of updates, they've changed how dragging to create folders has worked. And I said that they would change it again, and they have. So now there's a preference page where we can actually choose exactly how we want this to work. Track reordering, add more options in preferences, editing behavior, mouse to control folder creation via drag and drop. Preferences, editing behavior, mouse. And reordering tracks via mouse drag, create folder if, over middle right or over folder icon, over left side or over folder icon, over folder icon, or only if shift key is pressed. This option here was uh, what was last changed and is closest to uh, version 6.81, I think it was, over left side or over folder icon, and that's I think that's the 7.0 version. Uh, over folder icon is, is more specific. You have to be over the folder icon. And then only if the shift key was is pressed, that was like a 6.81 uh, version. The, these are now different options. So you can choose whichever one feels right for you. I didn't particularly like the over the middle or right side option. I kind of like this over the, le the left side and over the folder icon way. So let's try that out. So if I grab this and I put it over the left side or over the folder icon, the mouse cursor changes. I'll create a folder there. And it's very easy. If I just want to move a track anywhere over the middle and to the right, I can move. And then once I get past about the halfway point, or maybe one third, it will switch to a folder icon, and then it will create a folder there rather than just moving the, the track. And this other option over folder icon, we can just make a very small area where we can grab a track. And if we're over this little, like kind of over the uh, track number area, that's going to create a folder. So it's a really quite specific area where it's very unlikely for you to accidentally make a folder by just dragging. Try out these options again in editing behavior, mouse, reordering tracks via mouse drag, create folder if. These are all great options and I'm pretty sure this stuff isn't going to change again. Fix, move to folder, menu items after customizing menu. So there was a little bug here with the move tracks to folder function, which I showed in the last update video. If you had previously modified this menu, you wouldn't have seen the move tracks to folder action. But if you did modify your, uh, your menu after this function was added, this, um, this function here for moving tracks to existing folders didn't actually work. So yeah, that's fixed now. 
I had talked to a few users about that and uh, yeah, just letting people know that that's fixed. License import, improve wording and explanation of old license keys. So if you had a version five license and you updated to Reaper seven recently, you get a message saying that your license is outdated. They've tweaked that wording a little bit so it's a little more clear. So I'm gonna have a screenshot of 7.02 versus 7.03 and how the wording is different on the same system. Navigator, do not display items in hidden lanes. Okay, I don't have a before screen capture of this, um, but I will show you the navigator window, which is found in the view menu. This is not a new feature, um, but they're just changing whether hidden lanes are visible in the navigator, and uh, they were visible up until this update. So navigator can be used to scroll and pan, and, uh, and zoom and make your way throughout the project. Sometimes this is a very convenient way to quickly get from one area to another uh, rather than dragging in the ruler or zooming out and things like that. So not a tool you need all the time, but it's there and it, it is helpful. So we're just gonna look here at the tambourine track where I have two items, they're on separate lanes and I want both to play so I have both enabled to play. If I disable, fixed item lanes on this track and you look in the navigator this is the same track and you see the two different items there if i turn off fixed item lanes both are visible still within the uh the same lane i'm going to re-enable fixed item lanes and if i set only the first lane to play and then turn off fixed item lanes it's going to hide that uh that other lane that is inactive also, if I go to the show play only one lane view, where we only have the one view, that's not going to show the other lanes within the navigator. If I go to lane two, you can see the item has changed. Basically, it's just a bug fix to make what's visible here work in the navigator as well. For fixed lane comping and lanes, there's a bunch of bug fixes. There's also some new features, some refinements. Let's have a look. Comping. Actions to move comp areas up, down, re-select items after running. When moving comp areas up, down via buttons or actions, skip empty source lanes. Lanes. Add actions to explicitly show or hide fixed lane buttons. Add action to delete source media within comp areas and recomp for selected tracks. Add menu item and action to delete all lanes except for the clicked lane. Add preference to show play only one lane by default. All right, so let's look at that last one there. Preferences, project, track send defaults, going to fixed lane defaults. We can set this to show or play only one lane. Some of these other actions were added in the previous update and some of them were here already. Show or play only one lane it can now be set as your default for new tracks. All right, so I have a few different items on different lanes. I'm going to make a new comp lane. So just right clicking on any of the lanes, comp, comp into new empty lane. And now this top lane is what will play. There are actions to move the comp area up and down or select items. So let's just make a comp area here and then we'll run an action to move the comp area down. So actions list, lane comp. You can always click, but there are actions for this as if you prefer to use keyboard shortcuts. Fixed lane comp area move down. And so that's going to select this item um, as it moves down. And the same with moving up. You can have multiple comp areas and they will both move down like that. They can be like this. They can be like this. Moving down will just cycle through if they were split across lanes. Otherwise, if they are all in the same lane, they'll all move together. Hopefully that makes sense. You can also select one of the items in the comp lane and then move comp area down for the selected items. And so that's gonna select the next lane below the active one. If we select our comp lane and select show play only lane, we're in this view where comping is active. You can tell by the, the yellow glow here. Um, there are these little buttons here 
And so this should skip any empty areas. So lane two here, no, lane one was empty within that area. But it, when we're in this view, it's going to skip any completely empty areas. So you're never going to skip to a comp area where it would be completely empty. In the action list, there's also, we search for lane button actions to specifically hide and show fixed lane buttons. It used to just be this toggle. Also in the menu, there is a option for deleting lane. You can delete lane, including media items, delete all other lanes, delete all lanes with no media items, delete all lanes that are not playing, delete all lanes with no comp areas, or delete all lanes. So delete all other lanes is the one that is new. So that just left me with lane one in that track. And that's about it for the Reaper 7.03 update. Thank you so much for watching. If you missed any of the previous videos in this series, there's a link down below. Support what I do here on the Reaper blog with a YouTube membership or Patreon. It's a great way to support. Um, I'm also on Twitter and Facebook and Discord. And there's a ton more tutorials on my website, reaper.blog. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.